it's Isaac here back with another video and in today's video I just wanted to discuss some changes and improvements Snatcher Type can make to their website. I intended on making this video a long time ago but never got the time so I thought today would be a good day to make this video. So in today's video I will be going through each page including the home page you know on this navigation bar thing as well as some of these and I will be explaining whatever improvements I think they can make. Now before we get into the video, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe, maybe even share this with your friends. I will be linking my account in the description below if you would like to send it to friend requests. I will be also maybe providing the disc my Discord information, so if you want to contact me on Discord, you can. Just make sure you're 13 years older, older. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be discussing some improvements Snatcher Type can make. And although they've made a few recently, there's still quite a few. So first, we'll start with the homepage. I like the home page. I like th these. They didn't have this before. I like the description. Uh, I like how they... No, I don't like how they say it's all for free. Because if you really want to get a lot of enjoyment out of the site, in terms of like achievements, you need gold. I have gold, but a lot of people don't, so... Uh, and they have the teacher portal. I like the teacher portal. It's It's another good way to get good security on your account. I'll be making a video on security. In a little bit, but it's also, yeah, it's just good for, like, you can keep all the accounts you care about on it, on one of these, and then you can access it directly from that if you need to, and they have the news, so overall, I like the homepage, I do like on the design, it looks good, I wish they had the current season, and I wish they brought back, uh, the top racers, now that most of them are legit, instead of banned, and we'll be talking about that in a second. So the next page would be the race page. I'm not going to enter a race, of course. I just finished my daily racing. I don't really feel like racing anymore for today. But basically, there are a few things. Yes, they made a new track, and that looks really cool. And I will be discussing some stuff real fast with the race. I like the race now. I like how it's not animated, so it doesn't lag your computer. But I also like that... So races are pretty simple. I like that they're 25 seconds instead of 45. I thought that was a really good improvement, because I never really realized how long races were until they got, like, 25 seconds. So then, how about their race results? So if I go to stats, you can click on your race results and it'll show them all as soon as it loads. Uh, uh, let's go to day. Full race history. Uh, so let's go to all history. Let's just go to this random race. So it shows my, it shows my uh, race results and they cut off the bottom, unfortunately, but I like it. I like how it has all the stuff. It, this was a pretty good race. I don't know. Oh, it still does that. Okay. I like how it says total cash. Race with one friend. I like that. Session race. But there's a few things I think they should change. So first of all, I think they should uh, change it so that you can... It shows... I wish they, instead of just rounding it up or down, they had the actual accuracy that you had. So I guess it's 92% on here. If I go, I'm going to point at it. It says 92.27. I wish it said that instead of 92%. Just a bit more accurate. Another thing, I wish they had a, a bonus for typing certain speed. So if you can type, I don't know, five words per minute above your average in a race, you get like 50 extra dollars. That way, people will be encouraged to actually try instead of just sandbagging. Because sandbagging isn't really what the website's about. It's about improving your typing. Uh, I wish, and this kind of pertains to seasons, but I wish that they had a like a season bonus, not like when you're racing during the season, but once you're done with the season, they should give you a small bonus for completing it every race. That way racers have a bit more of a, they, they actually like want to race instead of having it where they're like, meh, once I'm done with the season, I'm done. I feel that way sometimes and I'd be more motivated if they give me a bonus. Uh, if you go to this, they have your average speed, your high speed, and your total amount of races at that time. It's more like 
17,200 by the time this was done. This is just when I uh, finished racing that specific race. But, so I like the average words per minute. That's good. High words per minute. That's good. Total races. Fine with that. I wish they put your highest session in there. I And I wish that they had your average accuracy for the last 10 races as well. Because I know a lot of accurate typers like to show off their accuracy. I am not an accurate typist. But it'd still be nice to show them that I don't completely suck at accuracy. Like, 9192 isn't good, but it's better than what it used to be. I used to type, like, 89, which was horrible. Uh, yeah. I think... No, there's one more thing I like that I like to change about the race results. I like... So right now, they have, like, down there, your next season achievement, like, what you're about to get next. I've completed the season. I'm season level 80, which is, like, four times the amount that you need to complete the season. So instead of having your next reward is this car, and I've already had that car, I wish they had instead, you're complete with the season, yay. And then I wish they'd add back the amount of total cash you have. It used to show, like, how much cash you have for every race, and I really like that feature. I wish they brought it back, because that's what I actually used to check how much cash I had. I don't like going to my garage and checking. But that's pretty much all with the race results, so if we X out of that. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's go to garage. I'm going to try to make this a little quick. I'm going to try to run through it fast. Okay, so the garage... I'm going to wait for it to load. Hmm. I really like the garage. I like how it has the race now, race with friends, season 29. I really like that. I wish it had the exact days, though. That would have been nice. I like the cash, that looks fine. I wish this was bigger, though. I wish this was, like, really big. Of course, you can't see me pointing to my screen, but... I like to paint this car, view all loot. Season level, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I like how they display the cars. I kind of wish you could, like, rearrange them so they're not just lined up like this. So maybe you could do patterns, or... Because not all parking lots are like this. Or have maybe parking slots for your favorite cars. I don't know, maybe have like an animation around them. That would be cool. But yeah, so the garage is pretty good, so good job on the garage nitro type. Now friends racing, I like friends racing. I wish you could have bigger races. Like, I wish you could do a friends race with 20 people, 50 people, 100 people, maybe even like 200 people. Maybe like if you wanna do a school race and you want the entire school to race with you. Although I'd probably destroy everyone in my school. Except for maybe one or two teachers. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be cool. Uh, go to season. It's going to take a little while to load. Season page. Okay. As soon as it loads. I like the season page. It's really cool. Uh, I really like this. For those of you that are much newer, seasons used to just consist on the leaderboards where you got cash rewards based on where you ranked. And then they changed it so you got, like, rewards like you do now, but it was in the achievements over here. So now that they have their own dedicated, you know, I like the learn about seasons button. Uh, I wish, if I had to make an improvement, I would have it so it tells you how many races you need to get everything instead of just racing. I like the arrows, that was a cool, that was a good move. I like the tiers. I wish you could lay it out in, like, a grid pattern, or instead of laying it sideways, up and down. Just for some more customization. I like I like the grid pattern more if they had that. But yeah, Nitro Type did a really good job on seasons. Go to dealership, has to load. I really like the dealership. It's a good page. As you can see I have some cars I still need to buy back. I sold them when I was really poor. Uh I like the total cash, that's fine. I wish, though, instead of just having you scroll down all the way to the bottom and back up, I wish they had different layouts. Like I said, maybe scroll to the side or have a grid layout. I would use the grid layout. I like seeing everything at once. And then I like how they have a catalog thing here and how you can click on it. It's kind of laid out like the achievements. Go to friends. Friends. Uh -huh. 
I really like the Friends page. There's nothing where I could really think to improve it. Request, search recent. Uh, I wish they could have it where instead of just being online or offline, you could be online but not accepting notifications so your friends know you're online, you're just not in the mood to race. Go to team. I like the team. A lot of improvements I could do on the team. The team is, like, my team is dead right now, but... Uh, yeah, I like this. I wish it was a little bit easier to find what you want down here. But I like, th I like most everything about the team. I wish... So there's a lot of things. I wish there was a team bank where members could have their own personal little account in a team bank. They could send money to that. And then team captain could organize set giveaways. You could do random player. You could do most active in a period. You could do most active in something. You could do use a car for this much, have this accuracy. You know, just, just have like a giveaway features built in. That would be nice. I like the stats. That's fine. Message of the day. I wish you could have a much longer message of the day. Also, you see the Discord link. Don't join the Discord link unless you're on my team. Uh, I like this. I like that. I really, I wish they you could allow more than 50 players on a team. And that you could uh, maybe have like a co-captain. Or have like a banner instead of just color. That would be cool. Or have like a minimum accuracy instead of having to type it out. Go to achievements. I like the achievements. I'm gonna try to talk through this fast so I, you don't have to listen to me rant all day. I, I like the recent achievements. I wish they showed like the history in the order that you got them. Because I have most of the achievements. Uh, the categories are fine. I wish they added a few more achievements. Uh, let's go to leaderboards. Oh, and another thing about achievements I forgot to mention. I wish that they had speed achievements and accuracy achievements. Uh, as you can see, leaderboards, they recently did an absolutely massive bot ban. So there's a lot of really, well, semi-active players on the thing now. I jumped like 200 leaderboard spots just because they banned a whole bunch of people. I was surprised. I'm like, wow, I'm not that active. Oh, wait, that's because they banned everyone. Last 24 hours, that's fine. Uh, top teams, that's fine. Hall of Fame, that's fine. Now, I'm going to try to get through this quickly so I don't rant for too long, but I wish they took out the season leaderboard and put in two different types of all-time leaderboards. So have one based on leagues, divided into accuracy and speed, not accuracy, activity and speed, and these leagues would be based on the amount of how old your account was. So instead of having to grind to get onto like a season leaderboard, if your account is two weeks old and you've done 100 races, then you're going to probably rank, rank pretty high on that leaderboard. If your account is two years old and you do 500 races a day, you're probably going to be high on that leaderboard. You don't have to ruin your health. Um, and then have another one based on speed. Again, that'd be based on age. Not age, but like age of your account. So if your account is a week old and you type 50, you're probably going to type rank pretty high. If your account is five years old and you type 150, you'll probably be ranking pretty high. Then they'll have like an all time where you basically see how you rank against everyone. That would be cool. And then last, the news. Okay, and now we have the news. I, I have to go. I'll be right back. Uh, I should be back in just a second. And I'm back. Sorry, I had to go do something real fast. Okay, and the news is fine. So, I like this. Maybe they have like a grid layout. I don't know. It's fine. Don't wanna, I don't want to talk for too much longer. So, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I've seen that there's a few more new viewers here. Please like and subscribe if you could. If not, that's fine for now. But, you know, subscribing is free. You can always unsubscribe later. And have a wonderful day, everyone.